do, do, do. Hey, kia ora. Helen Browns here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling, excuse me, fun Friday. Yes, it is that day of the week. We get to have lots of fun, although we should be having fun every day. It should be scheduled in your calendar so that you have that mental break. Um, my fun time consists of going on an annoying Zephy when she's sleeping during the day. Um, she likes to sleep during the day, so I like to go and annoy her. Well, I don't annoy her fully. I might bribe her with some treats. I might offer to play ball with her. But maybe I just go and give her some pets and have some cuddles with her. And yeah, it's all part of the fun. But it's all part of the fun. It doesn't have to be outrageous activity. It could just be sitting back, kicking back, and relaxing as well. Whatever it is you do for fun, that's what counts. And being Friday, it is also Finish It Friday. So do you have your desk clear of all the tasks for the week or the projects for the week are done? Um, you know, because, you know, and you can make a game out of it. So you can actually make Finish It Friday. Finish It Friday, you can actually make a game out of that and reward yourself. If you get all of this done, then you get to do this, whatever this is. It could be sitting down, putting your feet up, um, enjoying some wine and cheese, having some reading a book, um, watching a particular movie, getting pizza for dinner. Um, I love fish and chip Fridays. <laughs> Don't get to have fish and chips very often, but Friday Fridays traditionally at our place when we were growing up as kids was fish and chip night. It was Fridays. Um, used to love Friday night fish and chips. So was, this was fun. Um, wasn't always every Friday, but most but most Fridays we would have fish and chips for dinner on Fridays. And then Mr. Whippy would come down the street and he was the ice cream truck. And um, you would hear him coming down the street. And so we'd race out there, um, get to pick our desserts, and then we'd go back into the garage, put them in the freezer, then go inside, and enjoy our dinner. And then we got to have our Mr. Whippy ice cream afterwards for, um, for dessert. So you know, it all worked out. Worked very well. <laughs> It wasn't every Friday, but it was a lot of fun when it did happen. Um, because we enjoyed it. That was our relaxation, getting into the mood for the weekend type thing to do. Um, but yeah, so what is what does Finish It Friday mean to you? What is about what is fun about today? Well, it's the end of the week. Oh, um, I got an awesome weekend lined up. We've got our mastermind group meeting tomorrow so that's going to be really good for shake it up saturday sunday i get to do some cleanup my niece is arriving on monday she's here um, monday tuesday um so and i've got the time off work so i'm super excited about that because i haven't seen her in I'm trying to think the last time i saw her when did i last see her it might have been like four three and a half years ago Either 2018 or 2019 may have been. I can't remember the last time I saw her. But anyway, so um, I'm looking forward to spending some time with her as well and finding out all this fun stuff that she's doing. And uh, um, yeah, she's just on a road trip, so she wanted to stop by here. I said, absolutely. Um, so that's gonna it's gonna be interesting with Zephy to see what Zephy does. Having because Zephy has never had anybody staying, we've never had anybody stay in the RV um, with us since I got Zephy. Um, I've had, you know, we did that road trip with my mum and dad, um, and that's I think they were the last person that stayed in my RV. <laughs> I don't think I've had anybody since then, and that was August of 2019. So I don't think I've had anybody staying in my RV. I think they were the only get. In fact, they were the only people that I have had staying in my RV was my mum and dad in August of 2019 when we did that crazy road trip. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I was actually looking through pictures of that the other day of our fun on that 3,227 mile road trip in 27 days. That was insane. <laughs> but, there's, but there's, even though for me mentally it was a big challenge and everything with the, with the long hours of driving, I'm sure it was a challenge for my parents too, um, with the long hours of driving and I'm pretty sure they could sense my frustrations at times and my mental challenges going on in my head because um, we did do, we covered a lot of ground in 27 days um, but that was a big learning experience for me and I have not done a road trip like that since but especially in 27 days now I know that when I go get on the road if I'm going to stay overnight 
it's a minimum two night stay so i have a day off in between for recovery it doesn't matter if i go anywhere or do anything if i'm just kick back and relax you know there might be some small maintenance stuff so i've got to do on the vehicle on the rv like i might have to empty the, the tanks or fill the water tank up or whatever depending how long our road trip is um, but usually all of that's done before we leave um, so if we're um, and like see California um, to San Diego from here is about a six hour drive in a car that's like a and you know they've got some good road speeds along the way there but in this vehicle it's a lot longer so we actually do um, we actually have to do an overnight stay somewhere um, but I do make it a two-night stay yes because I find it um, physically and mentally exhausting when I'm driving this thing because it takes a lot more concentration even though I find it easier to drive than Brad's Yukon was um, there's still a, a lot of mentality going on and driving it and things like that um, and paying keeping the attention on the road and stuff so um, but yeah so i um, looking forward to having my niece come visit on Monday and Tuesday it's gonna be so much fun oh can't wait yes so I got a little bit of cleanup to do this weekend because um, I still have um, some areas that need to be sorted so it could be something as simple as I'm probably going to go for a drive uh, and because uh, there's a lot of files that are laying around well not laying around just stacked and I've got really nowhere to put them so I was thinking maybe I could whip down to um, I think it's Office Depot, Office Max it's close to us here and get some banker boxes and put stuff in that to help organize it and then I could um, perhaps on Monday morning, um, go drop them off at my storage unit um, just to get them out of the vehicle, just to get them out and give us some space. Um, so I think I might do that because um, that would be the easiest way to get those files all semi, they'll, they'll be organized as I put them into the box as well. So because I got a lot of files and, and journals with, and, and full journals as well. Um, so yeah, so I think the bank boxes might be a good idea for those because then they're easy access when I need to get back into, when I, if I need to go back into them again, I can easily whip over the, the store, um, the storage and pick them up um, and just bring the box back here if I need to, and easy access into the box as well. Um, plus they've got handles, <laughs> they've got handles on the sides of the boxes. So I think I might do that. Um, so I might go do that this evening. In fact, I may go do it as soon as I finish this call um, before I take Zephy for a walk this evening because we don't go for a walk now till around seven-ish because it's a lot cooler then. Although today we were supposed to be, get up to, what did we get up to? Like 70, 70 something today. Yeah, we went from 92 yesterday down to, down to 79, 77. We're currently at 77, but we do have a wind, high wind thingy out. And we've been gently rocking here for a while. Um, let's see, what are we at today? Oh. Currently, we are southwesterly is coming through at 23 miles an hour with wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Currently, they're some expecting us. Is it somewhere between 20 to 30 mile per hour cons consistent winds up until like 11 o'clock tonight or something? No, 9 o'clock, 7 o'clock, something like that, with wind gusts expected up to 45 and some dust storms in there as well. So I'm sort of like, great. Um, I, don't mind, I don't mind the wind, but the dust storms, yeah. Better breathe more in. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I know, crazy girl. Um, so that's what I may do this evening. In fact, I may do it straight after this. That way I've got the boxes here and I may even start, get it all sorted out tonight. And then tomorrow after my um, mastermind thing finishes, I um, might have a chance then to whip over. And well, that's the weekend and the weekends are usually busy. So I'll save them for, for Monday morning. But it means I can get everything else done um, that needs to get done. You know, do some cleaning so everything's nice and clean when she arrives. And uh, I actually have access to her to sleep somewhere to sleep and that sort of stuff as well so because the couch is kind of my filing cabinet right now <laughs> i know i'm bad okay um anyway i'm out of here <laughs> so what plans do you have to have a fun friday and carry that fun into the weekend let us know in the comments below we'd love to hear what sort of fun things you're up to this weekend um I am off to go to the office supply store, get my boxes so I can put some of these files away in my journals. I have lots of notebooks and journals that are full. Um, so I need to 
do something with those so that I have a lot more room to move around in. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your Friday and we'll catch you back here tomorrow for Shake It Up Saturday. Not sure if I will get online before 8 a.m. in the morning um, because that's when my mastermind group starts, but I might maybe directly after that that I get on. I don't know. Portals. Anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your fun Friday. Get everything finished off the desk. Get the desk cleared out. And um, oh, I totally forgot to get my, my shirt. Oh, I've got one of them on right now. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let's see if I can tell this a little bit. This is the You Are Enough shirt. That's what it's got on it. And then on the sleeve, it's got, um, what's it got there? Yeah. The Till Bahala Project. And then down the bottom it says, no hero left behind. Um, so this is the one that I was telling about where they, all the proceeds from the shirts, and I've still got the other shirt, which I'm probably going to put on tomorrow about moving forward. Um, all the proceeds from the shirt go to this project, and this project is all about helping military personnel who are um, struggling um, after being at war and that and coming back to civilian life. So they help with those that are struggling mentally, um, and um, they also honor not only military, fallen military personnel, whether they over there or back here, um, but also firefighters and police as well. And they do these beautiful wooden memorial plaques and present them to the families and things. So it's kind of cool. Um, so by the shirts, they go to good causes. Um, but anyway, I'm out of here. Go have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Have lots of fun this evening. You know, it can be it can be as quiet as you want it to be. It can be as loud as boisterous as you want it to be. Have a family game night. Have a family game night tonight. Ziffy, what family game night are we going to do tonight? Which toy are we going to chase up and down the RV? Oh, she was funny earlier today. She's got her bed on the dashboard is becoming full of toys. Don't ask me. She likes. She won't put them in the toy. If I put them in the toy box, she takes them out and puts them in her bed. And then she'll have a toy that is not allowed in the bed. So for a while, it was the, the shark that she got in the last bark box was not allowed in the bed. That one's now in the bed. Then the raccoon that she got from a friend of mine, um, her dog sent Zephy a birthday present, which was this raccoon, that Zephy's managed to quiet the um, squeakers without tearing the thing apart. Well, now that is not allowed in the bed. So I put it on her bed in the bedroom and come back <laughs> I had it in, in her bed area I come back it's laying in the middle of the bed last night it was the toy that we had to throw um because she whatever toy is the chase toy that one is not allowed in the beds in any bed these are her rules I don't follow the logic and so anyway she's up there on the bed this morning and she goes to lay down and the next thing here is a squeak and she's got this pink squeaky ball in there along with one of, with one of her round squeaky rings and both of those I love tossing because they're easier to toss. And uh, and the thing, and she sat down and it squeaked and she jumped out of the bed and ran into the bedroom and slept in there. And I'm sort of like, what's wrong? Just move it. And she had been in there, you know, digging around, moving her blankets around and all that, doing the digging thing. And so she put the toy where her butt was going to go and she didn't like that. So she just went into the bedroom. So I said, well, and so I went up and had a look, saw where the, excuse me, the squeaky toys were like, so, excuse me, move them over to a different part of the bed. She's been sleeping there ever since. <laughs> so she, yeah, she didn't like the fact that the toy was where her butt was supposed to go. And so she, rather than moving it, she moved and went into the bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, I, I went and moved the toys for her. So they were at the edge of the bed. So she had plenty of room to lay down. And uh, she's now back up there. Now all the, the toys are on one side of the bed, along with the blanket on one side of the bed. And she's on the other. So um, I might go see if I can get a photo of it. But I know as soon as I move out of the seat, she's going to be out of the bed anyway. So, who knows? Anyway, go have a super fantastic, sparkling, fun Friday evening. And we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow for Shake It Up Saturday. Hey, Gonera. Do, 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 do.